Now, in this session, we'll discuss how the project comes to the companies and how the companies will recruit for the cloud fusion financials. Not only for fusion financials, it may be for HCMR, for supply chain management, anything. Okay, so we are talking about uh, Reliance Trends is one of the client. It's a retail industry to maintain their day-to-day -day financials, business transactions. They decided to use uh, one cloud ERP. So they decided to use Oracle Fusion Applications Financials. In Oracle Fusion Applications, there are different uh, offerings, finance, supply, HCM, like that. They decided to use the Fusion Financials. So what this client will do is, first they'll go for subscribe this product from Oracle Corporation because Oracle Corporation has developed this particular product, right? Oracle Corporation has developed this product and it's available in the cloud. So obviously, if you want to use this product, first you have to subscribe to Oracle Cloud, means Oracle servers. Then you have to subscribe to Oracle Fusion Financials. Then you have to subscribe for the corresponding modules. Let's say in Fusion Financials, they decided to use uh, three models, general ledger, accounts payables, and accounts receivables. And maybe cash management obviously required it is cash management to manage the cash transactions. So what, what client will do is here, the client is going to communicate with Oracle Corporation and they'll buy the license. We can call it as a subscription for one year or five years. Depends on the number of users the license cost will be different. Subscription cost will be different. It depends on the number of modules, number of users, the license cost so will be different. So once they get a license, then this client will look for the vendors because Fusion Applications is a product has got some standard functionality to maintain your accounting information. But clients are different they'll have their own business process. They'll have their own business model to manage their accounts or to manage their sales or to manage their procurement or to manage their employees. They'll have a different things, right? So here, the client wants to implement this product according to their requirement, okay? So the moment when you subscribe the product, when you log in, there will be zero data because Oracle will give the fresh instance. Your company name will not be there. Your company branches will not be there. Your company taxes or accounting transactions or locations or employees, no, nothing, zero. Then that needs to be implemented by some company, some IT company needs to implement. That may be Oracle itself also. That may be Oracle also, okay? Or some other IT vendors, we have TCS, we have Tekken, we have Wipro, we have Infosys. Thousands of Oracle partners, this is all our Oracle partners. Whenever any client buy the product from Oracle Corporation, immediately these partners will go for bidding. And in fact, Oracle will tell to their partners, so and so client has purchased the product, you can go ahead for an implementation. If you are interested, it's very open. So it depends on the brand of the company, quality and the budget and the relationship based on that. So this particular client will give the project to the companies. Let's say a client has decided, okay, we'll give this project to TCS. TCS has won the project. This is that in one year, we'll go for implement the entire product. After one year, all your employees can log into Fusion Financials, enter day-to-day -day invoices, suppliers, customers' data, invoice printing, invoice emailing, bulk invoice loading, bulk invoice data extraction, email marketing, everything you can do it from Fusion Financials. Okay, so TCS says that one year we will do that implementation. For that, they need to recruit the software engineers, right? That's what we call it as a functional consultants and technical consultants. So when, when the 
ERP implementation is there. We don't call it as uh, software engineers. Uh, that word we don't use. Instead of that, we call it as a consultant. So functional consultant and technical consultant. So why the consultant word has came into the picture? Generally, software engineer or software developer means they are going to develop the software, right? But here, the software is already developed by Oracle. Oracle Corporation is already developed this software. They developed everything. They tested number of times and then released it into the market. Client has purchased this software product. The product is already there, but client wants to customize this product. They want to implement the product. Our product has got the base. Zero data. We are supposed to make that product is flexible for the client. When employees try to log in, their company name should come. Their branch name should come. Their department name should come. Their location name should come. Depends on the employee. One employee will log in from Bangalore, MZ Road. One employee will log in from Hyderabad, Hitech City branch. Then they are supposed to get their branch name, location, address, their employee name, their manager name. This all should automatically come, right? Depends. That's what implementation. I have just given one example like this. Hundreds of setups we are supposed to configure. That is what an implementation project. Okay. So this is all we are supposed to do as a functional consultant as well as the technical consultant. There will be some. Okay, so as a functional consultant, we are going to explain about the product to the customer. Customer does not have in depth of uh, information about the product. Customer knows that, okay, Oracle has developed some financial cloud ERP. It looks like good. Many people are using in the market. Let's our company also use this and they'll purchase this uh, cloud uh, license. Once they purchase, they'll give this project to the TCS or Wipro. Let's say TCS is what TCS managers means delivery heads or architects, financial architect will interact with the client business heads or stakeholders high level because they are layman. They, they will not be having idea. They do not know the ERP language words. They'll have their own language. Their business is different, right? So here, as a functional consultant, we are supposed to interact with the client. We are supposed to explain what is there in this product. What is the functionality, standard functionality? We have to explain to the client. When you explain to the client standard functionality, then client says that this we will not follow. Instead of that, we will be following this. So you have to customize this. Is there any feasibility in the product to customize or is there any workaround we are supposed to do it like that. So these all uh, things will be discussed with the client and we'll start requirement gathering and we are going to configure this. We are going to configure this. Right. So the functional consultant is the main person who is going to implement the product and interact with the client requirement gathering if there, are, there is a requirement related for technical they'll assign to the technical consultants so there will be two roles in the product in the in the cloud projects one is uh, one is functional consultant another one is a technical consultant you will find two things over here okay so this is about the project how it comes to the uh, implementation from top view and how the clients will go for give this project to someone else and then how the guys will be involving in that area. It is. So if you are going to implement any module, first what you have to do, you need to set up that module. After that, you have to test those setups. We call it as a transactions. We call it as a transactions. So if you just do the setups, and if you say that I hey, just done, it's completed, you can go for test it. It's not right. So we are supposed to test all the setups, whatever we have done, whether it's working or not through the transactions with the different scenarios. For example, you mentioned that the invoice due date uh, should be five days for Hyderabad location suppliers. For Bangalore supplier location, 10 days is the invoice due date. That's what you have configured. Obviously, you are supposed to test. How will you test? Take some Hyderabad suppliers 
try to raise the invoice, see the due dates, is preparing within five days or not. Take some Bangalore-based uh, suppliers, raise the invoice, and see that whether the 10 days is going to be there. Like this, we are supposed to have different uh, scenarios, different input data we are supposed to take, and then we'll try to find out that. This is about uh, the project and the requirement, how it will come.